The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, says the genocide that claimed between 3 to 5 million Igbo people during the Nigerian Civil War from 1967 to 1970 cannot happen again. The Nandekano led Biafra group in a statement that was made available to Sahara reporters by the media and publicity secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, said that President Muhammad Buhari will face the International Criminal Court sooner or later. But when is the Buhari treated that many of those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Nigerian Civil War. Those of us in the fields for 30 months who went through the war will treat them in the language they understand. Following a public outrage by Nigerians on its app, Twitter deleted the tweets and the Biafra group, in a statement on Wednesday, entitled, Twitter should completely delete Buhari for inciting tweets. IPOP commended its action. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has noted the action of Twitter in deleting the inciting and acrimonious statement. By the man parading as Muhammad Buhari, threatening another war against Biafrans. We know that the global outrage sparked by the evil, unprecedented and genocidal tweets made the cabal running the zoo to beg Twitter to delete them. But we want to assure him that the world has already taken note of the genocidal tweet. He cannot escape the International Criminal Court to account for his actions sooner than later. The action of Twitter also confirms that the evil tweets have been marked as hate speech. Of course, we know that Garba Shehu and Governor Nasir El Rufai are the ones behind the evil tweets. Both, they should bury their faces in shame. What could be more genocidal than a hypocritical president threatening war against the peaceful Igbo race and Biafrans, while on the other hand, pampering terrorists wreaking havoc in parts of the country? But our response to Buhari and those running the zoo in his name is that victory is not dependent on the multitude of horses. It comes from God. The 1967 genocide can never be repeated in Biafra land. Those Fulani people behind the man who claim to be Buhari are enemies of Biafra and cannot use force to change our resolve to restore Biafran freedom from Nigeria. They can do whatever they like, but Biafra must come in their time. We however commend Twitter for its courage to speak truth to power. IPOP demands Twitter to go a step further and completely delete Buhari from its system as a deterrent to other tyrants like him. The statement concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, the issue um, about Buhari's tweets has, you know, taken national uh, center stage ever since he made the tweet which was very very unsensitive it was very very insensitive it was very very uncalled for and it was unbecoming of the nigerian president who has expressed his disdain and hate for the people of the southeast without reservation it is unfortunate that that is the situation of things in the country today it is unfortunate that you know it is the reality that we are seeing today it is also unfortunate that not just him alone even those that are behind the uh, him working for him 
carrying out his errands and all what have you are also playing the same game with him. But be that as it were, a president of a nation is meant to be a president for all. And the question is, did President Muhammad Buhari true, uh, lie or did he actually say the truth in 2015 when he said, I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody? Did he actually lie by that statement or did he tell the truth? It remains to be seen from which perspective you are seeing it and looking at it from. But rather than looking at things or, or, or actually um, seeing things from the perspective of the president, why not look at things from the perspective of the people? We are talking about the people who suffered genocidal attack during the civil war, who millions of their people were killed, who are bearing the scars of this particular situation all their lives because they would continue to bear it. Their children will come, read, and still carry the marks all over and over again. It was really, really unethical. It was an, uh, ill sensitive. It was unprofessional. It was unprecedented for the president to have actually taught the route of threatening a particular region of a country he claims to be the president. It tells you that the man does not know what he is doing. It tells you that the man does not actually understand empathy or sympathy. The man does not really understand what it means to uh, bear the scars of war. It tells you that the man is undemocratic even in his nature. Regardless of the fact that he had been, he, we are told that he's a reformed democrat, he tells you that he was never reformed. And that is why the country is actually where it is today. No development whatsoever. No completed project whatsoever, nothing, and the money continues to um, go out and the account is completely depleted and the economy is in tatters. This tells you that the man is not competent, the man is not um, uh, a leader, as it were, rather he could have gone back home and lead the people in his mosque. But it is sad and unfortunate that a president of a country would come out to take this particular position. It is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? I said, where? Do you agree with what the man has said? Do you think Twitter did the right thing? Personally, I think Twitter did the right thing. Nobody is above correction. Nobody is above uh, um, the truth. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.